Savage of heat both off and on the ice as the Coyotes are set to howl. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. Sends the pass down low. Quick feed to Keller. The Coyotes take it across the blue line. Here's a short pass to Brodeen. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Takes the saucer pass. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Moves it to Rossi. Here's a blast. Oh, what a reactionary save on the one-timer. Takes the feed. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. And that's knocked away by Schmaltz. From the right side, takes the pass. Oh, he gets a blocker on it. What a stop by Vamilka. We're still in the early stages of this period. We're still scoreless. Goudreau's won the draw and they're on the attack. Puck picked up by Boldy. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Great save with the stick. Quick feed down low. And now he moves it quickly to Middleton. Oh, what an effort as he lays out for the block. Great hit on the play. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Nice zone entry from the left. Let's move to the middle. And that's intercepted. Puck knocked loose after that hit. The Coyotes gain the zone. Here's a chance to the middle. And that doesn't go as it's off a stick. Dished on over to Goudreau. Centering to the middle. And that's intercepted. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Nice feed from the left side up the middle. Gets a piece of it to keep it out. Minnesota's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Rips it and rips it! No room for that one to get through. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Puts the puck on net. Oh, gets a prepper on that one as he just got enough of it. Minnesota's got the puck. Arizona's got the puck now. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Wild have been handed a two-minute penalty for cross-checking. Keller's looking to help the power play unit strike here, guys. Let's see if he can use his own ability to help them get a good look here. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Quick pass to Duhayne. And now it's over to Dewar. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Schmaltz. And that's knocked away. The Wild have gained possession under man. They get it out of the defensive end. Reaches out and uses the stick. Moves it quickly over to Schmaltz. Denies him in front. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Works it across to Kerfoot. Arizona's in now. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. From the left side, they gain the zone. Oh, that goes off his mask. I've never been a goaltender except in road hockey, James. But I tell you, if you take one off the mask, you gotta be rattling. But nonetheless, he finds a way to get the save. And that's what you gotta do. Put everything in front of it if you wanna make the stop. Handles the puck from the left side. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the officials say. Felino's been nabbed for tripping.
Arizona salivating with a five on three power play. On a five on three with all that ice available and the defensive coverage in the middle of the ice, you have to find a way to pull them outside just a little bit. Sometimes a shot does that. What it does, they react to the shot and the rebound. Guess what? Open lanes. Erickson X side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Here's a change. Off the faceoff, they take the puck. Puck move back to center, forcing them to regroup. Tosses it to Kraus. Quick feed to Zucker. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. A timely save is everything to your team in this score. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice and that's how they get the goal. Arizona's talked a lot about getting off to good starts and look at this, case in point right here. Well, yeah, you get up by one goal early in the game and it just creates momentum all around your bench. Everyone gets on the ice. They want to contribute. They want to be the one to... I really like the effort on this goal, James. He shows a knack for the net and being real hard and heavy on his stick as he's able to put that rebound in the net. Goaltender's got to clean that up, though. That one got kicked right back out. Lots of time left in this period. The Coyotes now lead by two. Schmaltz wins the draw at center. Passes it to Boyd. Takes the pass from the left wing. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. The Coyotes win the faceoff. Way too much congestion blocks that. Quick pass across to Eriksson Ek. Sends it in deep. Solid check to slow him down. And it's a quick pass to Boyd. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. They've got numbers here. Stopped by the goaltender. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. The Coyotes have certainly come out with some jump here early in this one. Lots of shots, and they have the lead. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. And he gets in front of the slap shot to make the save. Here's a chance! What a blocker save by Vanelka! Here's a short pass to Michelli. Hammers him in the open ice! The Coyotes win the draw, and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Scores! That's three in a row! Oh, it's so much easier when you're running in the game and your opponent is chasing, and that's exactly what's happening right now. Although this is an unlucky bounce for the goaltender, James, it's one he'll want back. These are the types of goals that can be deflating for a team. It's a scramble in front, goaltender can't find, and guess what? It's in the back of the cage. Arizona's offense came to play tonight. Lots of goals already, and they lead. Minnesota's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Kaprizov's got the puck. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Spurgeon's back on the ice as he should be. He's the captain leader of this team. They're getting blown out right now, James. But what better way to create some charge here by your captain settling everyone down? Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Here's a shot, and that's blocked in traffic. Spurgeon's got it along the boards. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. 
Kraus plays it against the boards. Takes the pass. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Denied by the goaltender. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. And they skated out of the danger zone. And now it's grabbed by Rossi. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Handles the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. Fires it on net. And that's deflected off someone in front. Nice feed from the right wing. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The Coyotes have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Minnesota's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. First opportunity on the power play in this game. And specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Well, he's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Kerfoot's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Eriksson Ek. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Zuccarello's taking it from his own end. Gains the zone through center. He got all of that hit. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck under man. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. Slides it quickly to Boldy. And he loses control of the puck. Look at that hit. Maybe try to wear down the opponents here. Moves it to Kerfoot. Here's a clearing attempt from their own end. And they clear the defensive zone. Now a quick pass to Zuccarello. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Fugue stands recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Quick pass over to Johansson. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Scores! On the man advantage, he put one home. And this is exactly why you spend so much time in practice working on specialty teams, James. You can see that good movement to open up lanes, just disrupt the box there, and they're able to cash it in. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Minnesota still behind the eight balls. They trail by two goals. Schmaltz takes possession after that center ice faceoff. Quick pass to Keller. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Both teams gliding into position and the official set to drop the puck. The Coyotes will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Fleury. Puck scooped up by Brodeen. They gain the zone from the left side. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Puck exits the zone. And now he tries to get it across to Johansson. Sends it in on the attack. Moves it on over to Keller. Picked up along the boards by Johansson. Picked off by Keller. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. 
Well, you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generating. Shooting through traffic is an art, James. Not everyone can do it. You got to find a way to get the puck through. And when you have players that have the IQ and the shot, this is exactly what you do on your power play. You get it up high, and then you shoot the puck. But you need net front presence. You need hard, physical bodies in front to be able to collect the rebound and bury it. Sends it into the offensive zone. And the puck's kicked free. Passes on over to Zucker. He carries the puck up along the wing. Picked up along the wall by Zucker. Handles it along the blue line. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Puts it on net. Intercepted in the offensive end by Duhane. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Fugue stands ready for the draw on this man advantage. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Arizona's gained the line and into the zone. Denies him! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Erickson X gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Felino's moving it ahead. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Coyotes gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it quickly over to Erickson Eck. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And some good footwork to kick it away. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. And that's intercepted by Felino. Minnesota's been excellent tonight, James. They found ways to work hard on and off of the puck. And when they're away from it, they've really done a great job of being in good position to be able to take away lanes and angles, seams, you name it. But it has to translate to something. This is still a close game. Handles the puck at the point. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Hartman standing up, ready to go. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Poked away in the offensive zone by Maroon. Both sides back to even strength. A great he scores! Time, but he knows he's gonna have coverage come to him right away so a quick snapshot and he buries it more than half the period has expired the coyotes have taken control of this one now leading by three puck is dropped and play resumes minnesota's in on the offensive attack now Oh, just a great heads-up play by Keller. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Can't maintain possession. Arizona's got control of it now here in the offensive end. The Coyotes have been all over them, and there's still plenty of time left in this first. Oh, and he takes possession of the puck from off the wing with the centers all locked up there off the draw. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. Quick feed to Kraus. Arizona's playing it from the side. Just slide to the net. It's a real skill to be accurate and have a heavy shot, and right now it's just a heavy one that whistles wide. They've really got him on their heels here now. There's a hit on the play. Oh, they have really got the cycle going. The D picks it up, but they are still under pressure. And now he angles it across to Zuccarello. The Coyotes have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Michelli. 
The Wild have gained possession off the wall. And that's blocked. Gives them nothing in front. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Arizona's still got time here in this first period to increase this lead. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Poked away in the offensive end. Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Carconi. From the left wing, takes the feed. Here we go, odd man rush. Johansson's got the puck in his own zone. Looks to set up at the point now. And he takes the pass. Great save by Fleury. Handles the pass from the right side. Off the left wing and into center. What a steal in his own end. Arizona's got the puck in the defensive end. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. A chance from the slot. Huge stop by Fleury. In front of the net, and the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Arizona's been the better team here in this first period, and as a result, they've got a big lead. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the draw. Here they come on the attack. Feeds it over on the attack. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Duhame. Takes a shot. Oh, how did he keep it out? What a blocker stop by Vanilka. Poked away in the neutral zone by Duhame. Lowers the boom with that hit. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. Arizona's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Schmaltz won the draw, and they'll start off on the attack. Center wins that one clean. Everyone's ready for the puck. They know they're attacking now with the tired group that they're playing against. Musa quickly over to... Oh, what a save! He stopped him! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Takes a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. Schmaltz has it in their own end. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come on the attack. Let's move to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Oh, wow, stops him again. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Arizona's got a hold of the puck. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Let's get the call here. Now you're down a bunch of goals here, James, and really you take a penalty because you're chasing the game and you want to get back into it, but this one, this one's a tough one to take. Arizona's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Well, they've worked on this setup in practice on the power play. It's already worked for them this evening, James. You can certainly see the confidence that they have in this particular setup. The man is if ineffective. Knocked away in the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. Denies him with the save. Felino stick handling in his own zone. Minnesota's got it now. And he denied that opportunity. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Johansson's gained the line and on the attack. Slides the puck down low. Quick feed to Middleton. And that's turned aside with the blocker. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. 
Well, you can see the pent-up frustration. That's his second penalty of the period. Now he's put his team in a compromised position, not to mention he's affected their rhythm. And with that call by the officials, it's a long five-on-three set to begin. With all this time on the five-on-three, yes, you can be more patient, but you don't want to get lulled to sleep on the outside. You have to move the coverage a little bit outside of the middle of the ice to be able to open up those lanes and execute. Good heads-up defensive play as he extends the stick. And that goes off a player. And he takes the dish. And a stick breaks that up. Under all sorts of pressure, here's a chance to clear. Bats it out of midair using great hand-eye coordination. Centering feed, and that's stopped. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Minnesota's got a chance to work the transition game now, shorthanded. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Look at this attack here in the Ozone. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Duhaime's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Fume stands, won the face off, and now let's see what they can do. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. Grabbed along the board by Kraus. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. That's not the way with a stick save by the goaltender. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Here's a short pass. Oh, the out of the play! Wow! Oh, that's a true competitor's save. Just when you think that he's completely out of it, James, he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive. Break away! Scores! And there's another power play goal! Wow! The practice makes perfect, and you know that they've been working on this in practice. They've got the right personnel, the coaching staff, to show them video of how they want it executed, and they deliver tonight. And they used their speed on this counter attack and gave themselves an odd man advantage here, James. And what they did was they capitalized. They had multiple looks. They could pass it. They could shoot it. Goaltender couldn't figure it out. And it winds up in the back of the net. The Coyotes are up big here late in the first period. And they've got the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. That knocks them off the puck. Picked up along the boards by Kraus. Receives the pass. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Dumps it into the O-zone. Fleury's a competitor, and he is not afraid to compete for every single puck and outwill and outbattle his opponent. And that highlight reel save, it is something, James, because just when you think it's almost in, he finds a way to get to that puck. Such an athletic goaltender. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Gets it over to Zuccarello. Moves it to Johansson. Here's a feed in front. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Great forecheck by Bogosian. Cuts into the paint. Great read on the block. Arizona's got it across the line. Moves it to the middle. And it's blocked. Quick feed to Kaprizov. play on we'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up here in the later stages of this period Arizona's now up by four Rossi's won the face off here in the offensive zone oh I thought he was gonna be beaten and he somehow got a piece of that big hit and that frees up possession Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. Minnesota's won the face-off. And the puck leaves the zone. Pushes it across to Kaprizov. And the puck's not loose. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of get. Here we go. You knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right 
thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or clipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnybrook. Nice job tying up his opponent. Pokes it away in his own end. Arizona's got the puck. Here's a chance, sends it in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Quick pass to Stetcher. Across the line from center. Shot. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. And that'll free up the puck. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Foligno. Here they come on the attack. Here's a chance. And that's intercepted. Picked up along the wall by Stetcher. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. On the attack along the boards. With the stop. Looks to get the puck over to Foligno. Wholesale changes coming up as they send it in. Jersey's taking it from his own end. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Jostling for the puck and it's knocked away. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Arizona's got it in their own zone. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Off a stick and they can't connect. Great reflex on display tonight on his part. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point playing shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Here's a shot! Denies him in close. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. 40 seconds left in the period. Handles the pass. Gets the glove on it. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Taken along the wall by Maroon. And he slides it quickly to Middleton. That was amazing. What a save by Pamelka. And he'll take a quick moment to regroup by moving the puck back inside his own end. Knocked away by Maroon. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Let's it fly. And they make the most of the time remaining. Well, it's a buzzer beater there, James. And they are now buzzing heading into the intermission. You know that's carried momentum. But they'll have to find a way to start the next period the same way they ended the last one. Minnesota's hoping to even things up before this first intermission. They've had plenty of chances, but they still trail. Arizona's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. There's the horn. Still 40 more minutes left in regulation time. We'll get to the second period right after this. Period number two set to go here. Officials moments away from dropping the puck. A one-sided affair thus far. Let's we'll see if anything changes here with the start of the second. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Save made by the goalie. Thunderous hit it. Look at that. The pane of glass is cracked. 
Well, yeah, I mean, what a hit, right? What a blow, and you can see it right there. There's a spidering crack, and listen, you gotta make sure that this is taken care of, because it gets hit again, it will shatter. So safety is of the priority right now, James. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's been dominating to this point, trailing by three. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Slides it diagonally to Kaprizov. And now he moves it to Zuccarello. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. Zuccarello has tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. Takes it from the right side. Reads the play and forces the turnover. Moves into the slot. And he had the answer on that one. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Officials ready to drop the puck and get things back underway. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Quick feed to Middleton. Oh, what a great stop as he got a piece of it with the glove. Minnesota's got possession here in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. They are really pouring on the pressure here. And the defensive team's got it now. stop all that pressure here's a short pass to Kraus gaining momentum up along the side puck picked up by Hartman along the right wall and into the offensive end beautiful read in the defensive end by Middleton intercepted moves the puck big stop right there and they'll cover it up forcing a stoppage in play Minnesota's had the scoring opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize as they continue to trail. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. And that goes off a body. From the point, they take control of it. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Grabbed along the board by Boldy. Arizona's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Passes over to Merrill. Moves it to Johansson. Great use of the stick at center by Zucker. Arizona's looking to break out. And now he moves it quickly to Carponi. And he handles a cross ice pass. The Wild have possession along the boards. And they cough it up at center. The Wild have gained possession. Scooped up along the wall by Johansson. Play whistle dead offside the call. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The Coyotes lead at 5 2. Schmaltz takes possession after that center ice face off. Along the half wall with the puck. And it's a quick pass to Stetcher. Oh, how did he stop that with the one timer? And he slides it quickly to Duhame. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. The Coyotes have it now. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Stetcher. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Knocked off the puck. Boyd's got it in the defensive end. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Coyotes gain possession in their own end. Tries to feed it over to Schmaltz. Looking for space inside the D zone. Up along the wing. Poked away at center by Zuccarello. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Shot! Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Rossi's got to find a way to physically and emotionally engage without his fist, James. I mean, you know how effective and how valuable he is when he's on the ice. I mean, look at that scoring chance he just generated. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Turns him away! Arizona's got the puck. Rock! 
blocked him in the open ice. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Middleton's got it in the offensive zone. Turns it away. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner spot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. And that's blocked from someone in front. Great reach by Bugstad. Quick pass to Michelli. The Coyotes played along the boards. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Bugstad. Slides the puck over. Drills them. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Michelli. Slides the puck down low. Now a quick pass to Dumba. And he takes the feed with the stop. Big stop by the keeper. I love that he swallowed this one up with his glove. It's a real threat coming from the slot area. No rebound to boot. Minnesota's put a lot of pucks on net. Now they just need to put one past the goaltender, still trailing in the second. Smart play to take possession, sneaking in off the wing. And he takes the feed. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Taken by Goudreau. Moves it quickly over to Johansson. Covers it up and will get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. Arizona's got a 5-2 lead. The Coyotes come up with a defensive zone draw. Intercepts it at center. Boldy's hauled down. Penalty on the way. And the officials will pass the sentence here. The Coyotes are going to be shorthanded, tripping the call. They had success earlier on the power play in this formation, James. Really like that high umbrella where you're using the top of the offensive zone to work some magic, weave some as you move the coverage around. And once you get them running, that's where you can open up your lanes and attack the net. Gets it out of his own end. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Quick feed to Hartman. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Looks to make a play over to Rossi. Here's a short pass to Hartman. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Erickson X ready to take the draw here on this power play. Kerfoot's quick stick off the draw wins possession. Picked up along the boards by Boldy. Regroups with the puck back inside the D zone. Takes a shot. Oh, what a big time stop by Pavelka. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Kerfoot side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. Here they come. Moves it to Boldy. Here's a shot. What a stop! Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send... Oh, up the outside of the frame! Minnesota's working hard, but nothing's been going right for them in this game. Another chance off the post, and this is deflating for an entire bench. He needs something to get them going. And they get the puck out. Sends it quickly to Boldy. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Quick shot! And the power play comes up big again. I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. 
Well, that's a great shot, James. I mean, with his head up, he looks at the goaltender. Quick release that beats the goaltender five hole. The Wild have dug themselves such a deep hole, but at least they have something to build on now, Cheryl. Yeah, they're clawing their way out of that hole, James, bit by bit, and it's going to be shift by shift, and it's going to be the next player up that's going to have to create energy, and you start by being hard on the puck. Quick pass to Kirkwoody. Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of that one. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds it over to Zuccarello. Great defensive effort with the stick. Shot! And he keeps possession. Carcone's picking up momentum through center. Fires it! Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Chance in front! Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Maroon's got it along the wing. A chance in front! Big save by the goaltender watching that one. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. They gotta put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. The frustrating calls, no question about it. But they gotta figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. Arizona's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. A great pass from the left wing. Picked up along the wall by Kraus. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Running interference plays as part of the game, but you can't impede the forward progress of your opponent. That's a two minutes interference call. Puck set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Angles it over to Brodeen and pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Moves it quickly over to Michelli. Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Flurry. And he slides it quickly to Brodeen. Slick feed. Quick feed to Zuccarello. And he makes a save there. Big save by the goaltender once again. Well, you know that he's a fierce competitor, and he battled to make consecutive saves there, James. Back at the point, they set it up. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, while fans being treated to some offensive fireworks, it's a 5-3 game. And now he moves it quickly to Stetcher. And that goes off a player in front. Puts it on net, comes up with the stop. Here's a short pass to stop. And just like that, they take that momentum away. Well, that's a huge hit. I mean, listen, they're pulling scores, and instead of allowing them to build the confidence on it, they stomp it out right away. That's exactly what you want to do if you want to be a competitive team. This is a great goal, James. I mean, they have sustained offensive pressure, and they have their opponent hemmed in their zone. I have been on the other side of this, and it is tough. You're worn down, you start running around, you get caught out of position, and you can't recover. You're vulnerable, and that's exactly what happened here, and they took advantage. Arizona's added yet another to extend this lead, and they are just flying tonight here in period number two. And they've completely worn their opponent down, so they have no energy to get to the puck or try and create. And this is a testament to their whole lineup. They came ready to play. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Great pressure to force the turnover by Brown. Answered the call on that play. Maroons crossed the line and gained the zone. Takes a shot. Stones him in front. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. Minnesota's trailing in this one, but it isn't for a lack of effort. They've had all sorts of scoring chances tonight. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Boldy. Works it across to Schmaltz. 
poked away at center by Merrill. Centering pass! And it scores! What an opportunity and delivers! Wow, when the puck is on his stick, he's like a puppeteer, isn't he? He knows how to manipulate everyone on the ice. And while he's doing it, he's scanning. So he's making sure he knows where everyone is. And then he opens up the lane, the one that he wants, the one that he directed, because he directed that traffic, and he finds it. I mean, his tape-to-tape -tape passing is incredible. The officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. Schmaltz gains possession at center ice. Moves it to Keller. Sends the pass in front, and that's stopped. Schmaltz has been so dangerous tonight. He wants that puck on his stick. He's got two. He scores! There's the night he had two and he was thinking three all the way we got to give him props for his effort here James he's caught out of position and he just finds a way to be so athletic and try and jump in front of this puck unfortunately he can't catch up to it the Coyotes look about as dominant as I have seen them all season here Cheryl this period has been unbelievable for them yeah they're dictating pace and they're dictating the play all over the ice and then they're executing on their opportunities it's a reason why they hold the lead Krause is about to get out of the box goalie makes a save well this is an incredible save James it's anticipation as well recognize that the shooter is in the low slot getting in front of it and making the save can't stay on his feet after that hit quick pass to Middleton with the puck inside the defensive zone and it's a quick pass to Rossi. Still has possession. Johansson's got the puck. Great save from in tight. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. The Coyotes pick up steam and are on the attack. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Fleury. Gets in front of it for the block. Takes the puck. He scores! Jason Sucker! I love the way the shooter gets lost in the coverage and really quiet in the weeds of the ice here, James. As the puck's below the goal line, you can see him moving to make himself available. And right, right when the time is right, that distribution comes right to him. Puck on his stick. He lets it go for the tally. Arizona's had that magic touch tonight, Cheryl. Sometimes when you get up in the game, James, it's easy to get complacent and just hold the puck, stop attacking. But not tonight. They're not. The entire bench, the lineup, such an offensive threat. Line one right through line four. They've been a wave tonight. The Coyotes have it now. Can't hang on after that hit. Slides the puck ahead to Brodeen. Here we go. Puck's in deep. The Coyotes will play it in their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. Arizona's got the puck against the boards. Denied by the goaltender. Feeds the puck to Maroon. Minnesota's got it into the offensive zone. Puck grab by Maroon. Nice save by the goaltender to get a pad on that. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Arizona's got it along the wall. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Offside the call. We'll get a face-off coming up. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Taken along the wall by Merrill. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by Keller. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Takes the feed. 
Schmaltz is creating a ton of energy out there because of his drive and compete level. I mean, he is off balance, stumbling, and still manages to find the puck and get it to the net. This creates a scoring chance. Yeah, it doesn't go in, but what it does is it creates energy for his entire team as they build momentum. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Great pad save. And it's kicked away. And he slides it quickly to Schmaltz. And he moves the puck back inside his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. Shot! And that's off target as it hits a body. Takes the feet at the back end. And he gets in front of that. Arizona's got to hold him it against the wall. Quick shot. Off the glove. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. They're coming in waves. Passes it. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. And they pick up the puck here in their own end. Caprizov's into the offensive zone now on the attack. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Grabbed along the boards by Keller. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Takes the feed. Just gets enough to keep it out. This is an impressive save right here, James. I mean, there's a ton of net front presence, and so a lot of traffic that he has to battle through to find the puck, and he does, and he makes a nice save. Quick pass across to Eric Sinek, and that's intercepted. Can't complete the pass as it goes off a stick. Moves it quickly over to Polino. Now a quick pass to Eric Sinek. From the point, looks to make something happen. Club save, and the play continues. Moves the puck over to Carponi. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. The Coyotes play it along the boards. Puts it in deep. The Wild have possession along the boards. Long breakout pass to center. Fast and quick lead pass. Here's a shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Minnesota's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. And now it's grabbed by Jersey. With some open space here in the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. And they'll dump it in. Slides the puck across to Bugstad. Arizona's on the attack. The Wild have the puck in their own end. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Quick feed to Maroon. Bugstad's moving the puck through his own zone. The Coyotes carry it along the wall. Comes up with the stop. Knocked away. Right up the gut into the offensive end. Great poke check on the reach. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Brodeen. Here's a chance. Denies him with the pad. And will get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. Can they take advantage after winning that draw? Front. Oh, brings it off the crossbar! The Coyotes have a big lead here. They've been dominating possession. Everything's about habits, being aggressive, staying on the puck. But you know that they always want to put it in, and this one just wires off the frame. Makes a save again! And that's knocked away by Kraus. Here's a short pass to Michelli. Can't hang on to the biscuit after that. Slides the puck to Boldy. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Here's a shot. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reef. Goaltender spends so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from, and he makes the save. Minnesota's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Good, solid check, and he loses control of it. Directs it on over to Schmaltz. 
Puck scooped up by Keller. Takes the feed at the point. And there's the save. There's another consecutive save. Moves it to Schmaltz and makes the save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Quick pass to Kaprizov. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Grabs the puck. Oh, it comes up with a big stop there. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. Puck possession so critical in today's game, and the official ready to drop the puck right here. Erickson X won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. And turns aside the slapper with ease. Poked away at center by Spurgeon. Retreats with the puck inside the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. And now it's over to Foligno. Moves it to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. And they win the offensive zone face-off, and here we go. Minnesota's exploring options behind the net. Beautiful read in the defensive end by O'Brien. Well, no question, this is a frustrating play for everyone. It almost feels like it's going from bad to worse. You're losing, you're trying to get something going. Instead, you turn over the puck. Fires it on net. Close save, and the play continues. Arizona's got it in their own zone. Scooped up along the wall by Bogosian. Takes it across the blue line. Puck picked up by Foligno. Stopped by the goaltender. That's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice, and make himself as big as possible. Puts it on that. Walker save and a good one at that. Gustafson's been excellent tonight, James. I mean, the score could be a lot worse. His save percentage is great. He's doing everything to keep his team in it. They need to shore up their defensive end and get going north. Great reflexes, another save. Lee's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time his team starts working in front of him. Takes a shot. Oh, and somehow he gets a sliver of it and keeps him at bay. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Gustafson. Minnesota's trailing here late in the second period despite being the more active team offensively. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Arizona's got the puck along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Stetcher. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. And the middle frame almost done. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Schmaltz works the puck in his own zone. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Let's see what the official says here. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Fugue stands, won the draw, and they're on the attack. Hammers it on net. Oh, what a save on the clapper. And the puck's booted away. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Dumps it in. The Coyotes gain possession along the wall. Takes the pass. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Shot. Stopped by the goaltender. When the puck's in the low slot, the goaltender gets right out next to the shooter and makes the save. The Coyotes take possession in the defensive end. Great read with the stick. On the 
they attack, they come down the right wing. No, you're not going to get away with that one right in front of the official. Delayed penalty coming up. It's a tripping, it looks like. There's the buzzer bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere. We're back with more in a moment. The Coyotes with a five on three, and they've got loads of time to work with here. Oh, and that is a lot of time on a five on three. You have to have a sense of urgency here, though, because if you pop one by, you still have the man advantage. Into the attacking area from the left side. There's a collision with some authority. Stopped by the goaltender. They score! That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Coyotes continue to ring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Arizona's got the puck. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Quick feed to Kerfoot. Back to the point it goes. Pushes it across to Spurgeon. And he sends it across to Johansson. Handles the puck. Shot! Oh, wow, what a bad save by Pamelka! Bube stands ready for the draw on this man advantage. Dewar's won the face off here in the offensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Gains the zone on the left wing. Takes a shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Here's a short pass to Bugstad. How did he stop that one? This is a dialed-in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot, and makes the save. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Picks up the puck. Scores! And they finally stop the bleeding and answer back. Well, it ain't over yet. Anytime you can claw your way back into a game, and there's time on the clock, there's an opportunity to answer. Well, he gets all of this one, James. It explodes off of his stick. He just labels it over the glove of the goaltender. Minnesota's recognized that they're not going to play run time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to... He scores! He gives a hat-trick in Lando Chappell's fly! Anytime you get a hat-trick, it's a special moment for a player and athlete here, James, but to do it at home and have all of those caps flying on the ice, it's a pretty special one. He is such a gifted playmaker. He's got eyes in the back of his head, and it's not just about the pass he makes, but it is so accurate, tape to tape, that it makes it easier for the shooter to execute. The Coyotes probably don't want this game to end the way things have gone here, and I know we're in period number three, but Cheryl, what a night. Yeah, it's been terrific right from puck drop, and they've been consistent throughout the game, and consistency is always a word that coaches talk about, and if they can finish this off with this nice lead, that's the word the coach is going to be preaching after the game. Well, the medical staff is waiting at the bench here, looking at him to get off the ice, but he is really struggling in significant pain. Takes the knock, but he's still got the puck. Gains control of the puck here on the blue line. The Wild have gained possession. Taken by Boudreaux. And that's broken up. 
slides the puck across to Kraus. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Moves it to Dursey. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. He says, let's get physical on that play. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. Minnesota's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power play that really hasn't been great tonight, James. You always expect, or the fans do, the coaches, the staff, always look at it about an opportunity. But the reality is... You're never at 100%. Slides the puck over to Boldy. And he slides it quickly to Zuccarello. Into the offensive end now. Oh, and look who gets rocked once again. Well, he's a target now, James, because he's got a lack of spatial awareness. you got to keep your head up if you want to play this game and be safe in it. Goudreau stick handling in his own zone. Here's a shot, and that caroms off a body in traffic. And they clear that puck. Works the puck across the line. Quick pass to Zuccarello. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Sends the pass in front. Picked off in front. And the puck clears the zone. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Quick shot. And that goes off course off a body. Jostled off the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Baldy's got a goal on the player advantage, and now he'll be looking for another. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Tosses it on to Spurgeon. Pass it up ahead. And he takes the pass. They clear the zone. Time ticking away here on this man advantage. Keeping it simple and creating some speed, but they have to gain entry fast. Oh, the Russell does it! Arizona's got the puck along the boards. Takes a shot. Quick stop by Gustafson. As a defender, you love when your goaltender has this kind of rebound control. Makes your life so much easier. Prouse is back on the ice. Not much rest for him as he is creating a majority of the momentum for his team tonight. Real gifted offensively. A lot of traction in the offensive zone. Bube stands out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty killing unit. For an average PK, thought they did a much better job, James, just reading and anticipating and being very aggressive on the puck. Picked up along the boards by Stetcher. Shot! Oh, gets a pat on that one. What a stop by Gustafson. The Coyotes have built themselves a sizable lead here early in this third period. Arizona's got the puck inside the offensive zone. They've got numbers here. Fires it. Big time stop. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason. The score! And that's back to back goals. Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row. Oh, that's a really tough break for the tender, James. I mean, listen, when structure breaks down and there's all kinds of stuff going on in front of you, you can't track, you can't get your eyes on the puck, and it winds up in the back of your net. Arizona's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. And the puck is frozen. We'll get a stoppage in play here. Arizona's played arguably their most complete game of the season based on how they have delivered shots on net and lead here big time in the third. The Coyotes win the draw. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Arizona's been total non-stop action on the offensive end, and they continue to lead in the third. 
to Wars, won the draw at center. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Feeds it to Jersey. Moves it quickly over to Bugstad. There's the whistle. Let's get the call for the officials. The game is getting out of hand. You're down by a bunch. You take another penalty. You got to find a way to just reset your composure. Another chance here on the man advantage. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. The Coyotes get a hold of it. Quick feed to Kerfoot. And he gets a piece of that one and denies it. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. This is a frustrating situation, James. Just taking a whack load of penalties and really unable to get any momentum in this game because they're shorthanded the whole time. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Not typically that we see four-on-four -four action, although it's a lot of fun. You certainly know they practice it in practice. This is something that they're aware of. They know what they're doing. They want to possess the puck and try and create numerical advantage. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Good hit on the play. The Coyotes gain control of the puck against the wall. Dishes it to Keller. Feeds the puck over to Schmaltz. Centering to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. Into the offensive zone. Sends the pass over. Arizona's moving it into the offensive end. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. And now it's grabbed by Dumba. Arizona's in transition. Here's a short pass to Dumba. Oh, misses the net. You know he'll want that one back, Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Made the stop on the play. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Arizona's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. And he loses control here. Takes the feed. Puck grabbed by Zuccarello. Takes a shot. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. The Coyotes have been the aggressor offensively tonight as they continue to lead in the third. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. The Coyotes will play it from the defensive zone. Here's an odd man rush. Shot, and he's got that one. Denies it again. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back-to-back. -back. Well, it's not a long period of time, but they'll have a brief power play here as the penalty expires. And now he moves it quickly to Rossi. Cutting to the front of the net. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Pavelka. This shot's coming from the middle of the ice, and it has some heat on it, but he's ready and waiting for it. He's to position, and he makes the save. Play ready to resume as everybody lines in for the faceoff. Gaudreau's won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. What a block as he lays out, and I'm sure he'll feel that one. Great poke by Brown. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Here's a chance, and the lane's clogged up blocking that. Centering feed, and that's stopped. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. The Coyotes have a significant lead here in the third period. They have brought their A game tonight. Erickson X won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that's broken up. Moves it to Carponi. Smart defensive play there. 
sends a pass over. Arizona's on the attack. The Coyotes take it from the side. And he takes the dish. Centering feed! Scores! What a finish on the play! Man, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. Minnesota's got to find a way to continue to attack here now, right, Cheryl? Yeah, and they're going to do that by throwing defensive structure out the window and just pushing forward. You can expect four players to be involved in the attack when they get going north. And they win that draw at center. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Tries to get it over to Keller. Pass across to Boyd. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. And that's poked away by Middleton. Quick pass to Boyd. Here's a shot, glove save. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Arizona's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Slides it diagonally to Maroon. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Dewar. Oh, what a smart heads up play. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten, and he somehow got a piece of that. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Here comes the call. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. They've already scored on the power play tonight, James, and if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. The coach has got them all ready to go, fired up. They've worked endlessly on this setup, and man, is it working tonight. Fires it into the offensive zone. And he hangs on to the puck. The Wild have taken over in the neutral zone. The Coyotes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Bugstad's got it in the defensive end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Fires it on net. Too many bodies in the way. Tees up. Back with the stop on the one-timer. Minnesota's in now. Levels them with the hit. And here we go. And there's the takedown, I think not a moment too soon, at least with one of these fighters. Yeah, if you're the one that's underneath and on the ice, you want to take your five-minute ticket and march yourself over to the penalty box and get your rest. Erickson X side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And that goes off a stick. Arizona's moving it along the wing. Passes out front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Nice zone entry from the right side. Arizona's got control of it now from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Minnesota's got possession while undermanned. Hammers him into the boards. He grabs the puck here at the point. Brodeen's taking it from his own end. Gets the puck in deep. Arizona's got possession of the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Arizona's got him along the wall. Denies him in close. 
As a goaltender, you want to make yourself as big as possible, and that's exactly what he does right there and just takes away the net. Dewar's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Arizona's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Dumps the puck in. Receives the pass. A ton of goals on the board tonight, and you know that both teams are looking to pad their stats. A lot of players in on the action. That's got to give you confidence and make you feel good. Handles the pass. Gaining steam here on the attack. Gets a glove on it to make the save. Arizona's shown no signs of slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Rossi's got it, and they'll go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. The Coyotes have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. Rossi's won the draw. Shot! Oh, how did that stay out? What a save by Pavelka! I love the way that he battles and competes for this puck, James. I mean, he loses it for a second, then he finds it, and he makes a save. Gustafson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Who had the better night? Carlin is standing by. Keller's been more noticeable in my eyes this game, guys. I like that he was able to generate offense, and he used his zone ability to get there. Picked up along the wall by Spurgeon, and he slides it quickly to Rossi. Now he takes it over the line. Good hit to knock the puck loose. The Coyotes have it now. Taken along the wall by Keller. On the attack along the boards. Here's a pass down low. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. From the point, they take control of it. Moves the puck. Rocks him on the play. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Out of midair, he slots it down to the ice. Long lead pass to Johansson. The Coyotes move the puck in the defensive zone. Here's a shot, and that one's turned aside. Sends one up to Boldy. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. The Coyotes take possession here in the open ice. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. You can play aggressive, but you got to walk the edge. This is an undisciplined penalty, and it's going to be a two-minute minor. Team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James. Just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. Up along the wing. Sent into the offensive zone. Passes the puck over to Kerfoot. The Coyotes pick up steam and are on the attack. Skates in behind the cage. Slides the puck over. The Wild have possession shorthanded. Working the puck deep inside their own end. We got a penalty coming up here. Delayed penalty. Goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out there. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. Well, things should open up for both sides here with a little four-on-four -four action. Well, four-on-four -four is similar to three-on-three. -three. There's more ice available, and you can't just dump it in. You want to possess the puck and try and create numbers around the ice. That's two-on-ones all over. Wax it into the offensive zone. And he serves it across to Keller. Bugstad's got the puck in his own zone. Quick feed to Keller. Poked away by Rossi. And that pass is redirected. 
Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Bugstad. That opportunity is rejected. Gustafson's all over that save. I mean, he's dialed in and he recognizes where he has to be at the right time. The Coyotes are in the home stretch of this one here in the third period and lead by a wide margin. Bugstad's won the draw and they'll look to set up. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Arizona's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Slides it across to Rossi. Puts it on net, and he stands tall in goal. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Moves behind the net, and the puck's kicked free. Takes that pass back at the point. The Coyotes have the puck now. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Minnesota's got a chance to go to work on the power play here after their penalty expired. Fresh set of skaters here as the man advantage continues to try to make something happen. Shot! Here's a shot! And he comes up with the glove save. Kerfoot's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And they get that puck down the ice. Shot! And there's the save! There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Erickson X at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Backhand with intention. Scores! And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. Minnesota's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know what your team can play like, and you just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals. They need a pile of them if they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Great reach with the stick by Kaprizov. Throws it in. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Through center along the wing. Here they are on the attack. Puck scooped up by Zucker. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Takes a shot. Handles that one. And some good footwork to kick it away. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Here they come. Oh, he'll feel that one. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck over to Zucker. Moves it to Schmaltz. Shot! Nice save from point blank range. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. The Wild have possession along the boards. And he's ridden off the puck. Now a quick pass to Boldy. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. The Coyotes are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. Quick pass to Erickson Eck. The Coyotes take possession in the defensive end. Grabbed along the boards by Erickson Eck. Moves it quickly over to Keller. Puck dumped in. Arizona's gained possession along the boards. 
Winters is moving the puck through his own zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Slides the puck over to Hartman. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Here's a shot. Here's a shot. Glove save. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of his crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. Arizona's not far from the finish line here as they lead it late in this third. Erickson X won the draw and they're on the attack. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Oh, what another beauty stop right there. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got out and challenged right away to make the save. Puck knock loose in neutral zone. Here they come on the attack. Arizona's got the puck. And now he passes it to Michelli. Here they come up along the wing. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Quick feed to Dewar. Dumps it in. The Coyotes have it against the wall. Uses the force on that hit. After that huge hit, he is just struggling to get off of the ice, James, and the body language says it all as he's all hunched over. You know that the medical staff, well, they'll meet him on the bench. Nothing doing. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle, and when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss, and that's what happened there. Moves it to the middle, and that goes off a stick. Covers it up, and we'll get a stoppage in play. Oh, James, he took a huge hit there. We'll have to have another look at that one, but looks like he's having a hard time getting up. Arizona's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. Minnesota's got it, and they're on the attack. Here's a short pass to Brodeen. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Nearing the final 60 seconds of this one. Slides it over with pace to Rossi. Moves it around along the half wall. Quick shot! Goaltender covers it up, and we'll get a reset here. Arizona's been on a roll offensively tonight. Lots of chances, and they lead it late in this third. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And that's off a stick. Brown's lugging the puck. The Coyotes moving ahead. And he slides it quickly to Keller. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Goudreau's carrying it ahead. Center into the middle. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Wild have the puck in the open ice. Oh, and they'll be forced to start over from center as the puck leaves the zone. And he takes the feed. Scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the Hattie. Well, this is a, just a great job all the way around. Net front, James, battling for position. Quick hands to be able to get on the puck and quickly release it and have an accurate shot at that in tight. Great goal. Arizona's had a lot of success tonight on their scoring chances and look at the result here late in this third period. And as the final seconds tick off the clock, the home fans acknowledging what they just saw tonight. Sends it over to Johansson. And that's all she wrote on this one as we are in the books. Arizona's victorious tonight on the ice. You got the stat sheet in front of their part, but what stands out for you? Oh, the coveted strength down the middle. James, you know that team success comes at the dot and through the middle of the and they executed perfectly and controlled the game off of their high face-off percentage. And the
fans are getting loud once again to salute their Warriors here, Cheryl. Well, yeah, this is a lot of fun. I mean, this is the connection that you see between a fan base and their team, and it's a tradition, right? You come out on the ice, and you want to salute them and say thank you for providing energy throughout the game. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here from all of us at EA Sports. I'm Jay Sabalski. Peace.